Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to something a little bit different for me. So I have been wanting to start filming proper style videos in a proper setup and bringing you a lot more regular content and I just wasn't finding the space. I was filming part of it in one room and then part of it in another room entirely and it just wasn't working and it was making the whole process quite difficult and quite long winded. So I've been working in my dressing room to bring a space where I can just set up, film and set down. And I think I've come up with something. It's only temporary. It's not going to be like this forever. I am waiting to decorate my dressing room and I just need to live in the space, find out how it works to be able to make the space as efficient as possible. I have wanted to start filming this new series for a very, very long time, but it just wasn't right. I wasn't feeling inspired. And quite honestly, I just wasn't buying anything new that fitted within this series. So I didn't want to start things off and just not love the videos at all. But basically, I've been listening to what you guys are saying and what you've always asked for is to know what I would pick from high street stores. And whilst I want to move away from the huge hauls that we were doing when it came to ASOS and things like that, what I wanted to introduce to my channel was something a lot more thought out and something a lot more curated and the items that I would really, really want to have in my wardrobe without feeling pressured to constantly be showing you new items. I don't know when these videos will be going out. They'll only ever be going out when I've purchased enough items that I feel are good enough to go into these videos. And finally, I filled a basket full of like 17 items, so I thought I would kick things off with a spring high street picks video from ASOS. So with all of the rambly bit out of the way, God, I felt so formal then. I felt like I totally lost who I was, but I really just wanted to make that as informative and punchy as possible so that these videos don't get too rambly. However, I'm looking at the time and it still looks like I'm failing miserably at that. Now you might see a bit of a color scheme on this particular rail. And these are the kind of colors that I tend to wear this time of year. And I also find myself re-wearing if I've purchased them the year before. Neutrals and denims are the kind of colors that just come in every single season and are really wearable throughout. So this time of year, I always find myself going for linen fabrics. I feel like they look so much more expensive than they actually are. The cuts are always really beautiful and simplistic. This is the first linen purchase of the season. Now I'm struggling to find linen that I really, really love at the moment. I'm after some trousers and I want some more dresses, probably some more cami dresses. But this one I saw on the website and I just thought it actually doesn't look that great, but I'm gonna buy it and see if it looks better in person. It did. The website doesn't do this any justice and actually in person it looks so much better. So this is kind of like a stone colored linen dress. It's buttoned through, it's cinched in at the waist and it's also more of a bardo style but you can wear it slightly higher on your shoulders if that suits you better. It is elasticated so it doesn't fall down so it fits really nicely and it just kind of skims your waist. So this is a size four and I would say that you can probably size down in this. It's not too tight but it's still super flattering. It's a midi length but the fabric is really lightweight so you don't feel hot and bothered when you're wearing it obviously we've been having a heat wave at the moment and um, this has been a really lovely dress to wear I wore it to a barbecue and I felt lovely in it I'm thinking I'm going to style this with some castagna wedges and one of my many nude handbags but you can also pop hats with it or straw bags with it it's a really sort of modern and on trend piece but this is something that you will get to wear in your wardrobe many seasons to come. I feel like linen is a fabric that just doesn't really date. So it's a really good item to get into your wardrobe and it's also got no distinct identifying features. So when you've got this on, no one's gonna know it's from ASOS. This dress was 35 pounds and I picked it up in a size four. So as I mentioned, I would probably size down in this one. Next up, we have a jumpsuit because evidently I live in the jumpsuit. This one is Miss Selfridge, but it's sold on ASOS. And this is a cropped style so it's got a raw hem as well, cinched in at the waist, so it's got kind of a culotte leg rather than a cigarette style leg, and it's cami, so this is perfect for keeping your arms free in summer. I actually really don't like having sleeves in summer, especially when it's hot, it just makes me feel really claustrophobic. I constantly find myself looking for cami straps. At the moment, there doesn't seem to be a lot on the market, I'm not gonna lie, I've been searching for dresses for what feels like an age, but I managed to find this. It fits really nicely. I'm still trying to decide if it's the most flattering neckline on me. You can let me know in the comments. This is something I will wear with a lot of white accessories. Again, you can layer this. I always like to layer my jumpsuits, so you can pop white shirts underneath it or bardo top, and then just some cute 
flats or even some espadrilles as well. Denim is one of those fabrics that doesn't really tend to date. We've always got denim in our wardrobe. So this is something that you'll probably be able to get wear out of next year as well. Then we have a white top, but it's a white top with a difference. This is actually Boohoo, which is something that I try to kind of stay away from because they do tend to churn out a lot of fast fashion. However, cami tops with a bit of a twist are actually a weakness of mine. So this is something that I think that I will wear next year as well. It's got this kind of ruffle detail that goes up the sleeve and then the cami detail with the pleated sweetheart neckline. And then it's also got this ruffled edge to the bottom. At the back, it zips up, so it's really nice and fitted. And this is just one of those tops that can add a little bit of something interesting to a plain pair of jeans and a plain pair of shoes. This just kind of zhuzhes things up a little bit without being identifiable as something from the high street. So that was really what I was looking for, was kind of a few good white tops that you wouldn't know where they were from, but really added something interesting to just basic everyday outfits. But I achieved it with this one, and it looks beautiful on. Next up, something a little bit less timeless, but something you'll probably get quite a bit of wear out of. Now this is a sort of nudie, lilac-y top. And this is a blouse with big, beautiful, flowy sleeves. And they're really flattering because they tighten up around the wrist. And it's cinched in at the waist with this beautiful pleating detail. And it's all kind of gathered in with this lace detailing to the neck. Now, I'm always really wary of high street lace. You know the history of lace. It used to cost more than gold. So when you see things like this, sometimes you can be a bit like, oh my God. But this is actually really beautiful. The lace is beautiful and intricate and it actually doesn't look cheap at all. Again, this is one of those tops that I would probably pop with jeans, but probably more white jeans just to add a little bit of a colour contrast, make it a little bit more interesting, but still feeling light and airy in the summer months. You can also pop this with jeans and also I think that this particular top would look really nice with some linen trousers. And I probably should mention that this is quite a nice dupe for my Manning Cartel blouse. I know that lots of you liked it. It's quite an expensive blouse and it is also sold out now. Um, this, I think, is a really great sort of inspired piece by that. So if you were looking to pick that up but didn't want to spend the money or you didn't get your hands on it, this one is a really great option. Now, this one is kind of along the same lines as the lilac blouse. However, I don't think I'm gonna be keeping this one. But I thought I'd show you it anyway because I do love the colour. It's kind of a peachy nude. And again, it's got beautiful intricate lace throughout and across the neckline. This is just a little bit too oversized for me. And it comes up quite short at the back. It's definitely more of a tunic style. So if that's what you're looking for, this could be a really great lightweight option. It's very airy. It's got big, beautiful sleeves. So you never feel too sort of closed in. Got a nice draft to it. <laughs> <laughs> but I do think this is just slightly too oversized for me and I'm not quite sure how I would style this up in my wardrobe. So potentially this is an option that will go back but I thought I would show it to you guys. And next up, I've got another white top. Now this is more of a bardo style, but if you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm really into the sort of detached bardo style. So I don't necessarily like the ones that go straight across. I prefer this more I call it detached. I don't know whether that's the technical term or not. This one is kind of a brodery anglaise style fabric and it's got beautiful ruffles. It's also quite loose fitting so it does hang more. So um, I probably wouldn't wear a bra with this because that can sometimes make things stand out a little bit more. This is again one of those tops that I just want to throw on with jeans and it adds a little bit of something to each of the outfits. So whether it's white jeans, normal blue denim or some linen trousers, this is the kind of top that you're going to be happy wearing wearing in the heat, but also feel like you've added a little bit of something interesting to the outfit, some ruffles, some textures to the fabric. Every year I find myself buying all of the white tops because I just, I can never have enough white tops in my wardrobe and that's why I find myself buying quite a lot of white tops this time of year. <laughs> Next up we have a denim cami wrap dress and this was something that I just wanted to be able to throw on when it was hot outside. It is slightly too small around the bust area. The wrap kind of doesn't go around. You'll see when I pop it on. Uh, so maybe I should have got this in a size eight. I think I might have to pop this one back and exchange it for a slightly bigger size just so that it covers me up nicely because I don't want to have too much on show. This is a timeless dress. Wrap dresses come back every season. The fabric won't date either and the silhouette of the piece will also be wearable next summer. So this is kind of 
the whole brainchild behind this entire collection of items. I really wanted to get some items that I'm not just going to put to the back of my wardrobe and never wear them again. I hope that I'll be seeing these next season as well. Finally, something a little bit different. This is a Jersey basic bodysuit. And I've been seeing lots of these on ASOS and I've never purchased one. I did actually purchase another style. It was completely see-through. I think it was from Pretty Little Thing. Had to go straight back. I really wasn't impressed with that at all. This one, I believe, is ASOS own brand. Yes, this is ASOS own brand. And this is not quite so see-through. <laughs> and this is something that when it's really hot and I'm just kind of chilling out at home, I want to be able to pop it on, put some jeans on and just look nice. Now this actually has a thong back to it, which I worried would be quite uncomfortable. It's not. I've already tried this out and I actually really like it and I'm going to be ordering some more just to have this as a bit of a basic in my everyday wardrobe for this season. Also, they're a really great price. I think that they're about £12. And the good thing about these is if you do want to wear them with tighter trousers or trousers where you might see the outline of your underwear, obviously this is a thong style, so you're not going to see too much of that, which is brilliant. Also, really nice fabric, it's so nice and soft, which when it's hot outside, you don't want scratchy, no, no, can't be dealing with that, soz. <laughs> and another white top. However, this is probably my most favorite white top in this entire collection. So this top is actually 100% cotton, which I was so shocked about. I have been looking for these for so long. And basically, these are, again, another cute top to throw on with jeans, throw on with linen trousers, throw on with shorts, and this is the ultimate in freedom. You're not gonna get any strap marks if you're out in the sun, make sure you've got sun cream on. And it's just a really flattering silhouette, so it's tight and ruched around the bust, and then it makes lots of room for your food babies when you're having your barbecues. <laughs> I tested it on Sunday. But they have this in other colors as well, so I'll link those down below, but this is just my favorite. I think this was about 25 pounds and I've ordered two. I'm going to order more because I've already worn these so, so much in the hot weather. So if you purchase one item from this entire collection, I would potentially say that it should be this because I've worn this so, so much. I would say that they do come up quite small. So I ordered a four and a six and I went with the six. I might even get an eight this time just so that it's still not quite so tight. I absolutely love this. And then finally, probably the most expensive item in this collection. This is from One Teaspoon, and this is my first ever purchase from One Teaspoon. This is a white denim wrap skirt with a raw hem. I think One Teaspoon is probably the best at raw hems. So um, when I saw this, I thought this is going to look so nice with white linen shirts. You're probably hearing me say the word linen quite a lot. I am all about the linen life right now. This fits so, so nicely. It does come up quite small, so I would say go for your usual to maybe a size up in this. It's just a bit of a different twist on the usual denim skirt. I love the pockets on the back as well, and I also love the contrast stitch, which is more of like a nudie color, so it's gonna slot itself into my wardrobe really nicely. It's worn kind of just sort of on, if not slightly above the hips, and it's just a really, really flattering silhouette. Again, not gonna date, but it is slightly more expensive, although still under £100, I think this was about £80. So for a denim skirt, it might be slightly on the expensive side. However, when it comes to denim, I do feel that that is one of the areas in your wardrobe that you can spend a little bit more money. Also, I thought I would show you this. This actually arrived this morning. I saw this on ASOS yesterday. Thank goodness for um, ASOS Premier delivery. This arrived today, so I haven't tried this on, so I can't really tell you too much about it. I am just really loving these tortoiseshell buttons at the moment, and this is just another white top that I thought could be an option. However, I'm gonna pop it on and show you what it looks like, but I don't know much about it yet, so I might not like it, but um, I'll let you know anyway. <laughs> So that is it for this High Street Picks video. I really hope you've enjoyed this and I really hope you found it informative. So please do let me know if you've enjoyed the format of this video and also let me know if there's any stores that you would like me to do a High Street Picks from and hopefully I can put something together for future. But other than that, if you haven't subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button. I would love, love, love to see you back here for more videos. And let me know in the comments what you thought. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. It's always such a great indicator for me if you like these videos, for me to do more of them. So if you love this, if you want to see more, please do hit that thumbs up. Other than that, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.